Hi, welcome to this tutorial on exponential functions. So what is an exponential function? Well an exponential function is something like this where a is a constant, a constant raised to a variable power. So for instance exponential functions would be like 2 to the power x, 3 to the power x, 5.2 to the power x and so on. Now what I'm going to do in this tutorial is introduce you to the graphs of exponential functions. So we're going to look at graphing y equals a to the power x where a is a particular constant. So first of all then let's start by looking at the graph of say y equals 2 to the power x. Now in order to do this what I need to do is draw up a table and my table of values are going to go from minus 2 all the way up to 3. So when x is minus 2 we'd have 2 to the minus 2 which is 1 over 2 squared or 1 over 4 a quarter. And when x is minus 1 you've got 2 to the minus 1 which is 1 over 2 or a half. When x is naught anything to the power naught is 1. When x is 1 you've got 2 to the power 1 which is 2. When x is 2, 2 twos are 4. And when x is 3, you've got 2 cubed, which is 8. So if I was to plot these values on a graph, we would get something like this. y equals 2 to the power x. You can check out the values. Look, when x is 0, y is 1. So you can see I've done that here. When x is 1, y is 2. So x is 1, y is 2. So you've got 2 there, and so on. So you've got this kind of shape. Right, let's explore another exponential graph. Let's say we look at y equals 3 to the power x. If we're doing that and we do it over the same range of values of x, then we'd have minus 2, minus 1, 0, 1, 2, and 3. So when x is minus 2, 3 to the power of minus 2 is 1 over 3 squared or 1 over 9, a ninth. x is minus 1, 3 to the minus 1 is 1 over 3 to the 1 or 1 over 3, a third. Again, anything to the power of naught, 3 to the power of naught will always be 1. When x is 1, 3 to the power of 1 is 3. When it's 2, 3 squared is 9. And when we put x is 3 in, 3 cubed is 27. So what's this graph going to look like? It looks like this. Fairly similar actually to y equals 2 to the x. Fairly similar at this end, but it rises very steeply by comparison to y equals 2 to the power of x. Again it goes through 0, 1 on the y-axis. Now if I had time and I was to draw other graphs like y equals say 2.5 to the power x, I'd find again it was a similar graph to these but it would come up in between the 2 to the power x and 3 to the power x, something like this. If I did y equals 1.5 say to the power x, I'd find it would be like this. Okay. Now what I want to do is introduce you to another particular graph and this graph is y equals e to the power x. And you might be wondering what e is. Well e is a constant just like pi was a constant on your calculator. Pi remember was 3.14 and so on. Well e can be found on calculators and we'll find out what its value is. Okay, Let's just bring up a calculator. Here's a typical scientific calculator. Now on scientific calculators you'll find the E button. On this calculator it's just above this LN which is often referred to as the natural log button. Okay. Now if I was to do E, a shift on this calculator, to the power 1 it would give me the value of E. And as you can see it's 2.718 and so on. Now this is an irrational number, that is it goes on forever and ever, it never recurs. 
So E is roughly 2.718. Let's just put that back on up here. E is equal to 2.7182 and so on. Alright, now what would this graph look like? Well, I mentioned to you that if we had y equals 2.5 to the power x, it's going to be a graph coming up through here. Well, E is 2.7182 and so on. So that graph I would expect to come up through here. So let's just plot that graph. And if we did you know, a table of values, just like we've done here, and use the calculator, we would get this green graph through here. So I want you to remember then essentially what any exponential graph looks like. You'll see that basically if we have a set of axes like so, any exponential graph of the form y equals a to the power x is going to start from here, assuming a is a positive number, comes up through here, through a 1 on the y-axis and then goes upwards like that. That's a typical exponential graph. Alright, okay well that brings us now to the end of this tutorial where I wanted to introduce you to y equals e to the x. Now in my next tutorials what I'm going to do is show you further graphs of the exponential function e to the power x. We're going to look at graphs like y equals e to the minus x, y equals 2e to the x and so on. Alright? Okay, so hopefully you've been able to follow that one.